When I point to you, you must say, sweet home Chicago. Lord, we thank you that you sent NASCAR to the Windy City, Chicago, the third largest city in America. And God, you sent NASCAR to 234 square miles make up Chicago. Close to 3 million people call it their home city. And you sent NASCAR to Chicago sits on two major bodies of water, Lake Michigan, Chicago River, and you sent NASCAR to Bless the drivers, no accidents, smooth riding, good crowd, good food, good times, and something we will never forget that took place in First ever street course race in NASCAR. Green flag is in the air. Cole Custer jumps out to a big lead as he goes down the front stretch into turn one. Here they come, first time into turn number one. That's the 90-degree left-hander, Cole Custer with the lead. John Hunter Nemechek to second. You've got Austin Hill in third. Everybody minding their manners, minding their P's and Q's. They exit the right-hander two, ahead to Dale Jr. in three, four, and five. Down this long back straight away, about 140 miles an hour before they're gonna break for turn four. They practice this this morning they understand the speed but can they do it in a pack single file so far nobody really looking at it, trying to make passes here couple cars now back in the pack going side by side but right now everybody getting through a very tight part of the racetrack in one piece clean and green so far but now a hard breaking zone coming into six and again, Custer away with the lead. Everybody single file, everybody hard on the brakes, and everybody minding their manners as they race to 7th and Michigan Avenue. Great job by these drivers. A completely new restart. It spread the field out, and now they're just learning. Now they're saying, hey, this is a long race. We know how many incidents have happened in practice. Let's be smart. Let's learn what my car does well and what it does poorly. And then I will take the attack and the fight to the guy in front of it for the first lap. Let's make sure I got this car underneath me. Over the bridge and into turn 12 for the final time. He led the field to the green flag and also looks as though he's going to lead lap number one. Cole Custer out in front, chased by John Hunter Nemechek. An early pit stop for the 44. Sage Karam has made his way onto pit road and looks like the right front damage already. A lot of smoke out of Justin Marks and the 10. That looks like a mechanical issue. It doesn't look like tire smoke. It's out both front tires. The yellow is now out. Oh, and he gets spun around in the middle. I believe that's turn 11 right under your feet, Jeff. Yeah, I think there must be oil on the racetrack right behind him. I cannot see it. Caution is out. Kim, what do you know? He came on the radio and said the motor just blew up. So very devastating for a driver that we had pegged to do very well in this course. Again, he came on the radio to confirm to his team. It just feels like the motor blew up. Yeah, I can't see oil now just right on the inside lane. So let's go back and watch it. You see right here, Steve said it well, clearly not front tire lock up. That's just a blown engine, oil getting on the exhaust headers, coming out with smoke, and there he is spinning out in his oil. Fortunately, that's in a very slow part of the racetrack and no one else got caught up in it. He was running 10th, had a really good practice. He was gonna be a threat today. Sage Karam almost comes in here and takes him out, but just really disappointing for Justin. He had a very fast race car. He was just kind of coming to the screen right here, just going straight, tires locked up. I don't know if he had a mechanical issue. Not sure if, I mean, he's obviously completely out of control still. In, I don't know what could put him in this position. Oof. Oh fast. my goodness, and looking at that speed, I would say something definitely happened at the lift point or under braking. What great work by that tire barrier to absorb that impact. Four or five rows of tires in front of, there's a great view, right? So to your right, that's turn six of Columbus. To your left, that's turn one on Columbus. That's where they kind of mix right in front of Mike Bagley. Bagley, did you hear that impact into the tires or did the tires kind of even soften the blow noise-wise? Never heard a thing. Uh, they ca He came into turn number one. I didn't even know that he had hit it. The colors blending in with the tire pack, but the tire pack did its job. That's why they're there. Those tires are there so the driver just doesn't plow straight into concrete. That softens and cushions that blow that he just took. And as we saw, he's able to climb out of that race car. and He's been able to go to the care center and get checked out.
the New York City New York native Andre Castro a University of Chicago alum brings the caution out after slamming into the tire barriers in turn one John Hunter Nemechek this is what a shot look at the body roll of the tire rubber you can see how just bumpy that left front tire bounces through the corner right here's a great shot of the change in now there can only be one inaugural winner of the Chicago Street Race for the Xfinity Series it is Cole Custer Cole how will you remember this one uh, the wildest win I've ever been a part of, for sure. I mean, this is definitely not the way we'd want to get it. You know, we want to run all the laps and we want to win it the, the proper way. But at the end of the day, we're racers. We'll take it how it comes. And um, it's just awesome. Everybody that's a part of this team that's really, I mean, we're really hitting our stride here. I mean, we're really running up front and we got everything working how we need to. JT and all the guys at the shop have worked extremely hard trying to get us where we need to be. So um, I can't thank them enough. And everybody at Haas Automation, Gene Haas, Tony Stewart, um, just got to keep it rolling. There's a sense, Cole, that uh, this would be okay with a lot of people because you were the best car, proved that in qualifying, and then took off in the race. What's it like to win a race shortened race, rain shortened race, but in the right way? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot because I think we did have a really fast car and, um, you know, arguably the best car, I would say. So um, it's not like we, it was just given to us. You know, it, it wasn't just pure luck, but um, it just it means a lot to still have a little bit of respect there. But at the end of the day, you know, we still want to run all the laps, but, you know, it's not always going to play out like that. And from the time you hit the track here in Chicago, what, what's the experience been like learning the track and just being better than the other drivers? I think the whole time that we've been here, it's been absolutely wild. I mean, we have raced and we practiced in the rain. Um, um, just guys wrecking how uh, intense the course was, just trying not to make mistakes. Um, it's the wildest thing I've ever been a part of. And then having this, the whole rain delay, I mean, this is um, just the, the wildest week I've ever been a part of. And I think it's it's really cool. And one of the coolest things NASCAR has done the last, I, I don't even know however long. It's, it's a pretty awesome weekend. Second one of the season, a big one for Cole Custer.